Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. My name is Chris, and I'm going to be your CNA today, and I'm here to perform a partial bed bath on you. Is now a good time? Can I check your wristband to confirm that it's you? Thank you. I will provide privacy and wash my hands. I'll take my basin and fill it halfway with warm water. Check the temperature with the inside of my wrist and have the patient do the same. Mr. Smith, go ahead and check the temperature with your fingers. Thank you. Now I can lock the wheels on the bed and raise the, the bed up to waist level for proper body mechanics. Now I can don on my clean gloves. I will start off by taking the privacy blanket, placing it over the clean sheet, and spreading it out without shaking it or snapping it. Mr. Smith, please hang on to the privacy blanket. I will now pull down the clean sheet all the way down past the patient's feet. Next, I will remove the patient's gown, starting off on the opposite side, uncovering the area that I'll be working with. 90 degree angles are your friend. And from here, you have to make sure that the chest is covered at all times. Cover the patient back up, then remove the sleeve on the working side, making sure that the patient's chest is covered at all times. Now we can remove the patient's gown. I will roll it up away from my uniform to not contaminate myself and throw that away into the dirty linen. I'll take a large towel to use as a barrier over the patient's chest. I will take my first hand towel, wet it, remove the excess using the four leaf method. The four leaf method is when you fold a towel twice and then use each area, also known as leaves, so that way you're not recontaminating areas you've already cleaned. We start off with the eyes going from the inner aspect out. Imagine that there's an imaginary line dividing the patient's face. Start off with the eyes that are furthest away from you. From center line out, change your leaf. Center line out, change your leaf. Now we go to the closer side. Center of the eye, out. Center line, out. Toss this away into the dirty linen. Take your second hand towel. And from here, you're going to submerge it in the water. Remove the excess. Four leaf method is not required for this, uh, but we're still working from top to bottom, from cleanest to dirtiest. So we're gonna start with the forehead. So you go from the center line out, center line out. You go down the nose, upper lip, chin, and chin. Toss this away into the dirty linen. Take your third hand towel. This is to pat dry the face. Toss that away into the dirty linen. From here, you will take your towel and expose the area that you're gonna be working with, which is the arm, all the way up to the shoulder. Place the towel under the patient's arm to serve as a barrier. Like so. Take your first hand towel, technically your fourth hand towel, and apply soap. Work into a lather. And we go from cleanest to dirtiest. So we're going to go from the shoulder down. And the order is arm, hand, and then underarm. So what I like to do is I like to place my hand in the armpit area so I don't accidentally contaminate the area that I'm leaving for last. Short strokes in one direction, I like to go from the shoulder down. Lift up the patient's arm and do the underside. 
Clean his hands, all surfaces, including the nails. And then wash the underarm area. Toss this into the dirty linen. Take your fifth hand towel, submerge it in the water, remove the excess. Same thing, place your arm as a cover. Short strokes in one direction down towards the wrist. Bottom side of the arm. Do the hands, including the fingernails, and the underarm. Toss this away into the dirty linen. Your final hand towel will be used to pat dry all surfaces. Or you can use your towel that was under the arm to pat dry. Remove this and toss this into the dirty linen. Cover the patient's arm back up. Next, you will apply your gown. We're going to go ahead and place this gown over the patient. And you're going to put the arm through the sleeve closest to you. From here, you will roll the gown towards you. Once this is rolled towards you, you can lift up the privacy blanket, making sure to keep the patient's privacy. And you can lift it up just enough for you to see without overexposing your patient. Next, you will uncover the other arm and finish unraveling the gown. Go ahead and put on the patient's gown from this arm. Ensure that the patient's chest is covered prior to rolling down the privacy blanket. We're going to go with the dirty side towards the inside, making sure that the patient is totally covered. And then roll the privacy blanket away from you as to not contaminate yourself. You will toss this into the dirty linen and then cover the patient back up with their clean sheet. Give the patient his call light, make sure it's within his reach. Mr. Smith, if you need anything, please let me know. I can now lower the bed back down to its lowest position for safety. I will unlock the wheels, remove the privacy, and now I can discard of my supplies. I'll take my basin to the sink, dump it out, rinse it, dump the rinse, dry, and place in its designated area. Soap goes into the designated area. My chuck will go into the trash. I will doff my gloves. I will wash my hands. I will report and document that the patient received a partial bed bath and my skill is complete.